Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to Minecraft. It's Styx here and we are in the Victorian city. And you know what guys, next episode is the world tour where we get to explore absolutely everything in the world. Well, pretty much everything is as long as I remember it exists. Uh, we will be going into it in uh, great detail and exploring everything that I've built around this whole entire world over like over two years worth of building. So yeah, that is episode 200 guys. Can you believe it? We've made 200 episodes. But anyways, guys, today is not the world tour. That is next episode. So um guys what are we gonna do today well i thought today we could get a map going i have not used maps in this world i don't think i think we should get a map going of our entire victorian city here that would be pretty damn cool we're chilling up on the balloon right here but if we drop off guys we can see that there's a lot of stuff around here i'm wondering how cool this looks on a map obviously there is so many buildings and everything left to build in this city and obviously the backs of buildings need finishing like these are just faces but they're my favorite faces of the city these buildings here i love them um yeah okay guys so what i'm gonna do is place a map in somewhere where would be a good place to do that i'm not too sure i'm not gonna build the board straight away because i don't know how big this is gonna be so what do we need to make a map actually let's head over this way we're going to need paper so in that case we're going to need sugarcane and I wonder how much sugarcane we have over here stored up in here. We should have sugarcane down here and we have heaps left. So we do not need to uh, send the machine off. We've got plenty of sugarcane and paper for today. Now, I think I'm going to leave the maps at the base size, size so they're as zoomed in as possible. Now, we need to make some compasses, which I cannot remember how to make. But I'm sure if I look into the recipe book, uh, we can figure out how to do that real quick. Okay, guys, so we are going to need iron. Well, there's not a lot of iron left in there, but oh, there's heaps in there. Never mind. Oh, there's an absolute buttload in there. I think what I'm going to do is just do this real quick and shove a bunch more of this into here. I don't think we'll need more than 64 compasses, do you? Actually, we may do. You know what? I'm going to get two stacks of that for now. Um, we're going to need... Oh, wait, you actually... To make a whole stack, you need that much, and then we need one stack of redstone. There we go. Love my storage room, even though I kind of leave it looking like a mess. Let's just make, yeah, let's make a lot of those. And then we just surround in paper to make maps. Okay, so we can make uh, 24 here. 24 maps, okay. Let's do this one at a time, guys. Uh, we don't want to accidentally get the wrong map. So what I'm going to do is go up to the top. Hello, Mr. Dolphin. Having a good time? Mr. or Mrs. Dolphin? I don't know. Minecraft mobs don't have genders. Um, right, let's go all the way back out to the top. Oh, it's it's nighttime. Of course it is. Oh, wait, there's already a bit here. Let's just use this one. All right, guys, I don't think this is going to take the whole episode, but I'm thinking we start here. Let's just pull out a map. Right click, there we go. This map is looking fantastic. So we need to face this way and walk over here. Get it all filled in. It looks like we've filled in everything there. Okay, so that is that. Which way are we going to go? I'm going to go over here then. And we'll go get the next map over here. So once we turn into a dot, it's safe to pull out another map. So that's the first map. This is the... Oh, uh, uh, it's not safe, guys. It's not safe to pull out another map. Because these freaks come around. Okay, I've been playing modded Minecraft, so I get a little bit scared. I don't know why I was so scared of that guy. Anyway, let's check that we're off this map still. Yes. And now we can get this map now. And this will be the next one over. Okay, that's probably all we need in this direction. I don't think we need to go any further. Nope, I'm gonna go I'm gonna go one more. Because I think there will be we will need to get that uh that building over there put in. And I'm not sure if that's going to fit on this map or not. Although it kind of looks like it will. I'm going to leave it for now. Let's try and get this map over here. Actually, I'm going to do a nice straight line to make it easier for myself. Let's go back this way. So we want the original map. This is going to take a while, guys. This is going to take a long while. Let's, let's fly over there, at least. So it did have that part on it there. So if we fly onto this building, I would presume that we were off that first map. Yes, we are. Okay. So now we get one more. That's the first map. Actually, oh, look at this. This is the order that it's going to go in. There we go. That's that map there. We need to walk over here to make sure we fill the rest of that in. 
if we move over here a bit we should be able to just fly down here until we're off this map and it's looking like it's going to be about five maps wide at this point okay there we go this is going to take us a little while guys but i'm just going to do this row to show you what we're doing and then yes we can run off this map now so this zoom level does seem pretty cool i think it's it's is it's the most zoomed in possible when you first start when you first make a map and then you use more paper to zoom out if you want to so now we come off that map and yeah it's looking like five or six maps wide has it got that house on it just i think that will do that'll do guys so five maps now let's go and place them in some item frames somewhere. I'm just going to pick a random spot that we haven't built in yet. Maybe around here somewhere. And I'll uh, I'll make a little bit of a wall to start off with so we can see what we're dealing with. Well guys, this is one thing I haven't built this season. And that is a leather farm for cows. I just have this random paddock over here that I come to and I breed them all up. And then I just jump around doing this so I don't kill any of the baby cows. Because if you jump and crit, you only hit one thing. How many we got so far? 22. Oh, it's in my hotbar. That's very good. I'm at least going to get 64 for now, because that's how many uh, compasses I made. And I don't think we'll need quite that much, but, you know, that that's fine. Let's get um, enough out of here. We have looting on our sword, so we should be getting quite a few things. I wonder how much steak we're getting out of this. Quite a bit. Quite a bit of raw beef there, guys. And one more. There we go. Okay, now how do we get out of here? We're going to have to fly out. Wow, they really stopped me flying there. Okay, right, I've just stuck a board over here, so that's good. Now we can find ourselves a crafting table, or we can just craft one, because that's the kind of Minecraft is we are, guys. We we are so skilled, we can craft crafting tables. Right, there we go, let's make a bunch of these for now. And I'm thinking, coming over two, and then going one, two, three, four, five. Okay, and now this was the bottom map. And that's going to face that way, I think. Okay, so we have to put them in and turn them one time to line them up. That's looking like it. Because they'll all face the same way when you originally put them in. So there we go. That's facing that way now. And there. And turn. Hey, turn. There we go. That all lines up, guys. So this is the bank here. And that is the park. And those are my favorite buildings I was just talking about. And that is the hot air balloon. And we are standing not on this map. Oh, yeah, just there. Right there. That little blue uh, green circle arrow thingamajig. Okay, let's get um, this line in now. So we're going to need this map here to tell exactly when we've walked off the side. And we can grab another lot of these and place these in. I think I'm going to have to get some more sticks. That's what I'm going to have to do. Let's change all of these into sticks as well. There we go. Oh, no, not my sword. This is a very strange episode, guys, but, you know, I'm hoping you're enjoying this. It's a bit weird. Next episode, I think, will be really cool. I think, hopefully, we'll get um, a lot of response, uh, good, good responses from a world tour. I always enjoy the world tour. So, right, this is going to look fantastic. And now it's time to paste in the second row. And again, we just have to turn it once to fit it in nicely. I think you can turn it in your hand. What happens if we turn it in our hand randomly? Can you turn it? Did that turn it? I don't know. Let's check. Oh, did not. I thought you could turn it in your hand, but maybe not. Um, and then one more to go in the top there. Can we reach? Yes, we can. Everything fits in nicely. Okay, cool. That's showing us the layout of the city more. And again, I'm going to take this map and make sure we walk off the other edge of it now. Okay, cool. Very cool indeed. Alrighty guys, that was the last map. We are flying back over to the map thingy majiggy over here now. And we just have the one missing that I took out to get reference. So we should be able to remove all of this now. All of this nonsense. We have uh, epic speed mine from something somewhere. Right, the one I took out was this one, so that one should go straight back. Now we need to rotate these ones once. That lines up. Now you should line up. Fantastic. Rotate once, everything's lining up nicely. And just a random ocean one out here. There we go, that looks really weird. So we didn't load that part of that map. Okay, I'm gonna go load that because that's gonna irritate me something crazy. Do that, place this here. And make sure we load that corner of the map, which I think is over here somewhere. 
No, we need to go over here. Do we? I don't know. That looks like the building there. Okay, so that is over here. We need to load. There we go. Okay, everything is loaded in now. That's kind of annoying how maps work like that, but that is okay. That means the map is now finished, guys. So that is really, really cool. That will uh, give us an idea of how we're progressing. I mean, we can save this as it is, but I don't think I'm going to do that. If I was going to do that, I should have done that at the very beginning. Now that little corner is in. Right, guys, so now that we're here, I can sort of explain where things are. This is the original town hall with the garden at the back. And this is the new main street. This is the old main street here. Went right up there, but I decided to make a bigger one here. We have the government area over here, which, like I said, are just faces of buildings. We have the little gardens and a fountain and things. The mansion is over here, the little river that runs under it, the railway station. And yeah, so if we have a look back, these are a couple of buildings over here, the big boat we made. Um, these are all our farms and stuff over here. This is the massive tree over here, which has got this weird bit there that's uh, snowed on because I must have been loading that chunk there. Um, what else do we have over here? We have the little country house and we have the beginning of, beginnings of the prison and we are right here. So yeah, that's looking pretty cool, guys. Now you know where everything is. Oh, and there's supposed to be a university down here eventually as well. We only have a library for now. But yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay, guys, well, that's a good start to today's episode. What else should we get up to today? I have no idea. That, that's all I had planned. So let's, uh, let's figure out something else we can do. Alrighty, guys, you are not going to believe this, but we are actually going to do some interior work along the old main street. Now, I don't know what we're going to call this. We will probably come up with street names soon enough um, and have little signs on the side of the road to let us know where they are. But um, over here, guys, is a supermarket. So I need to come in here and build some sort of supermarket. So I think what I'm going to do is start at the end and have like the cash register thingy here. I've got a, a couple of things to build with here. We're going to need to build walls. I feel like I want to put... Hmm. I mean, we could do wall, the old wallpaper thing where you have lots of um, lots of item frames with a map with a certain color in it. But I don't. that's going to make the world very laggy having that many item frames. So I think we're going to not do that. I'm going to place all this stuff over here for now. And I suppose we need a crafting table as well. Make ourselves one of those. And we'll pick this back up and do the old place it on top of here. Fantastic. All right, so I have a bunch of stuff in here. So we can have like a butchery type place. I think what I'm going to do first is work on the counter. So let's let's get a couple of quartz spheres and place them upside down over here like this. Could be the counter right here at the end. We'll have someone standing in, in here. Uh, well, obviously, I think we're just going to have to stick with sandstone walls, to be honest, and uh, figure that out later on. This can be the register here where everyone comes and pays. And then we'll just have a bunch of stuff around here. So I think at the back here, We'll have like the butchery area. So how are we going to do this, guys? Um, I'm going to get item frames like so and then like put the items in it. So if we do that, then we can put the beef on it like that and it'll kind of look like a butchery. And the uh, what was the other stuff here? The rotten flesh kind of looks like bacon, I suppose. And we'll get all the other food items in the game in just a second. Um, yeah, we can get them from all our farms and things like that. I think there's some sheep floating around just to get some of that. And yeah, okay, we're going to need some lighting as well, actually. I think I'm going to leave that lit up while I build. I'm going to go get some cool lights, and I suppose the roof could come in at this height here. So yeah, I'm not too sure, guys. Give me a little bit of time. If we use wood for like the veggie aisle area here, it could be like that, and we could have you walk on either side of it like so. Could have a two block gap there and then another one here so that could be where all the fruit and veggies are we could have the meat back there and maybe have something over here maybe some sort of shelf that goes up the wall that could be pretty cool maybe if we use some slabs like make some wooden slabs real quick that's gonna be too many isn't it oh well <laughs> let's um if we went like this and then we would have to place something there and then so the next shelf would have to go here so that's pretty 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 big shelf there actually but we could place some stuff along here i don't know what we could do maybe buckets of milk or something buckets of water something like that we can't really place anything there so what we would do actually i think take this down and we can place item frames oh you can't 
think I've, I've just figured that out today. Can't um can't select block on these with the middle mouse click. There we go. So we can place a bunch of stuff in there. A bunch of stuff in here. Just like this. Okay, that's looking pretty cool, guys. Now I just need to get that stuff in. So I'm thinking sugarcane looks like something people might want to buy. We twist it around that way, maybe on an angle. Yeah, I think that's that's going to be an okay idea, guys. So let me get uh, the butcher area in, and that could be pretty cool. I think we need to get these walls in as well. So there should be some sandstone in a bunch of blocks over here and a bunch of shulker boxes over here. What am I talking about? Um, we've got some birch wood that could be useful as well. Sandstone anywhere? Anyone? Smooth sandstone? Not what I want. Not what I want at all, guys. That is disappointing. Is that the outside there? I'm getting confused now. It's been a while since I've come here. Yeah, that's the outside wall, I think, so... Can't really change that, because that's what I want it to look like on the outside, so... Yeah, I'm gonna have to go and get myself some sandstone to build these walls up and things. But yeah, I think that could look pretty cool. How could we do a cash register? I mean, another upside down thing, maybe in, in the birch wood or something? Yeah, that could work out nicely, I think. Okay, that's pretty cool, guys. I got a few ideas here. Let's get the stuff that we need together and put a roof in, some lights hanging down from the ceiling. And yeah, everything should be looking pretty cool. I might use the blue lanterns in here. Instead of the normal lanterns, that could look uh, pretty interesting. All right, wish me luck, guys, on my first interior. I think this is the first interior of this city that I've actually done properly. Oh, supermarket, I told you. Okay, guys, just a quick idea. I wanted to put stuff in cabinets. I really wonder if this works. So what we're going to do is push this down and see if this item frame put pushes off. That is really sad. Come on, Mo Yang, we need this. This is a, this is a fantastic feature. Okay, well, I guess that's not happening. We're going to have to come up with something else there. I'm not sure how. I'm not sure what we're going to do, but maybe I to, we come out like this with the glass out to the front. I can't fit out here. Come along like this, and this will have to be the way that we encase our meat. Like this, away from the people. Oh, that's, that's, not, that's not great, though, is it, guys? It's not great. We're going to have to move this back again. Oh, I don't know. It's not fantastic. Well, I just thought I'd try that, but, you know... Sad, sad day. Alrighty guys, I'm not sure if the soul lanterns are the best. They're kind of higgledy piggledy because we don't have a one block center in here. All of the walkthroughs are all too wide because I thought it looked a little bit silly otherwise. Um, and then we just have them like over the counter and over the corner of these. So this is the little meat bar guys, little uh, the deli here. So that's pretty cool. You can come up and uh, I, I suppose lean over and grab what you want, but um, that's the best I can do. Um, I've still only got the sugar cane in here. I've taken this out and I've put carpet on the floor, guys, If because these are not going to light up the room enough, I don't think. Like, areas over here are probably quite dark. What does it say? I cannot see the light thing. It takes me forever to find it. Yeah, it's it's only four over here, so things could definitely spawn here if we didn't have the carpet there. So, yeah, I don't think things can spawn on item frames if they can. That's going to be a problem, but yeah, um, I think I'll put carpet on the counter here as well. Some white carpet just to mix that in there. That'll look pretty cool. And I could also put them on top of these trapdoors because that would make that look more sturdy, I suppose. So we have the little cash registers here with the gold ingot in it to show that's where you go and pay. I suppose gold is the closest thing we have to look like coins. I don't if you have any other suggestions, guys, let me know. But I think that's pretty cool. I'm going to try this with the other lanterns now. Like, do these lanterns look better? I have used the chains, though. You know what, these might just look better. Let's quickly swap these out. Yeah, that is looking much cooler, guys. All right, I'm going to try and get the rest of the food items together. I think we'll put, like, vegetable-type things here and everything else over there. We'll, we'll do our best to come up with um, another... Well, I suppose we have 12 things overall, so we need another 11. And then I think I'll put water buckets and milk buckets on the shelf thing over here and i was also thinking guys we could put some blocks in this wall here instead of the uh sandstone but whatever is on the other side has to match the cafe theme that we're going to have on that side of the wall so they could be some shelves of some description but whatever they are they have to suit what's going to be on this side which is a cafe as you can see got these all labeled i think we have like a takeaway shop here takeaways and i have no idea help um Okay, I suppose that, that's up to you guys. <laughs> uh, try and give me an idea of what that shop could be. But yeah, all right, let me get a few more things together and hopefully this shop will be pretty finished. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to fit some blocks in here. 
So this is going to be my best effort at an interior. If you guys have any ideas, please, please, please help me out in the comments. So um, I just went for some um, upside down stairs here to get some shelving in the back there. Obviously, we can't put anything in. But yeah, that's all looking cool. I put the carpet on there. We have all our fruit and veggies here and some seeds and things. Everything's looking fantastic. We even got an apple in there. And yeah, it's looking really cool. I went for cactus because, I mean, I'm going to pretend that's a lettuce. All right, guys, just... Just pretend it's a it's a big iceberg lettuce, all right? That's what that is. Like I said, we have the meat shop over here. And we have our drink stall over here. So that's pretty cool. We got milk. We got a bunch of potions. We got water bottles. I did have water buckets. And then I thought, you know what? We have bottles in the game. Why don't we just put them in here? And these have a slightly different color. So they all look pretty cool there. Yeah, that, that that's going to do it, guys. That... That is pretty much all the uh, interior I can handle for today. I'm not I'm not very good, as you can see, but we're getting there. If you guys have any ideas, like I said, please let me know. But I want to thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button. Don't miss next episode, and I will see you guys there. Thank you again for watching.